Don't readjust your screen, it really is me, and I really have aged this well. Listen, I haven't been here in like almost two years, but we don't need to make it weird, okay? Daddy went out to get a pack of cigarettes. Let's just be happy he finally came home, all right? Hi, and welcome to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and who do I think most deserves a drink this week? You guys, okay. I was just perusing D-listed today, as I do, and I saw the hot slut of the day, which means the birthday is none other than icon Tim Curry. I know, this is a random person to do, and if you don't know who Tim Curry is, grow the fuck up! Wait to see if the neighbors are calling the cops. Tim Curry is a Hollywood legacy, and he turned 76 today. Lies! His birthday was actually yesterday, but memory got drunk instead of editing. <gasps> With all the delicious rolls he has given us, ah, ooh, rolls. That sounds delicious. I think he deserves a drink. So in honor of Tim Curry, we are going to make a Tim Curry up daiquiri. It might come as a shock to you that Tim never got married and never had kids, which, if you ask me, is pretty smart, Pennywise. He played Pennywise in the original It movie, and children cost too much fucking money. For this drink, all you're gonna need is curry simple syrup. I'll teach you how to make it, calm down. Lime juice, curry and mango salt, white rum. Mine is in a brown bag because the guy at the street thinks I'm a hobo. Also, this is the same liquor store that one time I got $80 worth of booze, didn't have my wallet, and he said, don't worry, I know I'll see you again, just take it. And an additional little trick, hack, Ingredient, but we'll get to it when we get to it. I'm sure you're shivering with anticipation. I will admit that I have been told that I have a doppelganger in Tim as Pennywise, and I can't deny it, you know? We both got red hair, we both got a five head, and you can usually find us drained. Oh, and my weight is ballooning. No, that one didn't work as well. Okay, so to some type of blending apparatus, you are going to add a shot or so of lime juice, a little bit of curry simple syrup. Here's the deal, you guys. Did you know curry comes from leaves? Well, leave it to me to just find out today. Just kidding, I'm very smart. They're amazing, they kind of have a funky citrusy smell. I went to three different grocery stores and then realized I live right up the road from an Indian grocery store. So I went there and sure enough, they have the fresh leaves. So, let's learn how to make the simple syrup. You do one part water to one part sugar, okay? It's not that tough. That's why it's called simple syrup, not rocket scientist syrup. You let that boil for a little bit and let that sugar dissolve, and then you add in a handful of curry leaves and let that simmer for five minutes. If you can't find curry leaves, you can put in just a dash of curry powder, which is ironic, because that's what they called cocaine on the set of Rocky Har. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Tim's brilliant performance as Wadsworth in Clue. Huh. Speaking of, I have no clue how I got my panties in a Wadsworth this afternoon. Dear viewer, we need you to crack the case of the wadded up panties. Perhaps memory was in the bedroom with an uncensored Blu-ray of Wild Things and her magic wand. Or maybe perhaps she was in the living room with a vintage but Reynolds Playgirl and a candlestick. Stick around to solve the mystery at the end of the video. Now, we're gonna add some white rum, y'all. Oh! That is way too much for one drink, but we're gonna do it! Encore. And don't you dare forget that Mr. Curry actually won an Emmy, mm-hmm, for his role in Peter Pan. Of course, he was Captain Hook. You know, I dated a Hook in my day, yeah. He had good form, but uh, one little move and he was in the poop deck which made me quite stern. That's right, I am resorting to pirate jokes. Are you still watching? If so, take a bow. I'm gonna add half ice and then we're gonna use frozen mango chunks. That's right, baby. We're not gonna skimp any flavor with frozen water. Mm -mm. Sometimes frozen mangoes smells like salmon. And then blend that bitch, baby. One of my favorite roles Tim ever did was Home Alone 2, where he played the concierge, Mr. Hector. And what's funny is when Kevin was trying to trick Mr. Hector into thinking his dad was in the hotel, he used a clown cutout in the shower to fool him, which was a nod to Tim's role as Pennywise. He put a clown in 
the shower. I mean, why, why go out and find one when there was already a clown in that movie? That's what I call the long way to a joke, okay? <laughs> oh, I got my steps in on that one, baby. Amazing. This looks amazing. Everyone knows Tim is a legend, but did you know behind all that makeup, Tim actually starred as the Lord of Darkness in the film Legend? I don't know, something about this look makes me horny. Oh, the devil. Now, for the curry mango salt. Yes, I'm using salt with this. You can use sugar with this, whatever you want. I don't think salt is just for margaritas, okay? Don't yuck on my bloat. I can gain two pant sizes in one day, just how I see fit. <laughs> the pants don't fit. Buy some freeze-dried mango. I'm not talking about dried mango, like you get at Trader Joe's and you eat it and we all pretend we love it, but really, you're worried a molar is gonna come out, okay? You're chewing leather, baby. Freeze-dried mango. I put it in a spice grinder with a little bit of red chili flakes. Put that in there. I put in a dash of curry powder because I am not scared of some spice, baby. You blend it up and then you mix it with either an equal portion of sugar or an equal portion of salt. I think this drink is a little sweet, so I'm going salt. Now that we're done on grinder, let's do a rim job. I mean, just like nature intended. I've got a fresh mango. You could use citrus, your leftover lime rinds. Get that wet, dip it in your curry, mango, sugar, or salt. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna pour that in. <gasps> Y'all, I'm gonna cut a little mango. Do, do, do. <gasps> you guys, look. Come on, focus on this bitch. How frigging cute is that? And there you have it. A spicy, yet sweet, Tim Curry Up Daiquiri. Cheers. Oh my God. Mmm. It tastes so fresh, and let me get a little funkiness. Woo! Too many of these, and uh, sorry, Annie, the sun ain't coming up tomorrow. Your sun might be coming up on my stomach, though. Mmm, it's got like funky notes from the curry, but the mango brings a sweetness and the curry simple syrup just gives it a little undertone of like, oh, who's that girl, huh? What's she all about, huh? Where's she been since January of 2021, huh? Loink! And who can forget Tim's performance in Annie when he was Daniel the Rooster Hannigan? The Rooster? Talk about a hard cock life. Thank you for watching You Deserve a Drink again. I'm Mamrie Hart. And remember, the best part about Why Dad is the built-in drinking game. So make your Tim Curry up, daiquiri. Rewatch this and drink every time I make a terrible Tim Curry pun. Now you're off to solve this mystery.